I'm about to go look at a new house later today. Jesus, you just did it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with a really big bit, with a really big backyard. But I was actually interested in the last thing you said. <laughs> That's, and you Pat. That's old now. <laughs> this is you hear me? That's old. This is a labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um Tone, the mustache don't look bad no more, bro. I think I it I don't look it don't look good either though. <laughs> nah, it's all working, bro. <laughs> Who, for Tony? Yeah. It looked Do like I, it was connected for a second, though. It did look like it. Do I look like I'm in witness protection? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. You will. I, well, yeah, my name is Steve. <laughs> Are you recording to here? I am recording now. You should do it as soon as we all jump on. You never know what magic you're going to get. Take your glasses <laughs> off, dude. Nah. If you're going to tell to here, take his glass off, then... Then Kev got to take his but off. Kev, Kev just That's be true. wearing ridiculous costumes just to do it. But to hear him serious with his damn glasses. To but hear, to hear glasses look nice. exactly right. There's literally Kev, no Kev, Kev, you think like I you got to want to look like a squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> you, you accomplish that, my boy. Here, shut up and go buy the chicken. <laughs> to hear look like he drive a submarine. <laughs> 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 he was the hell out of that shit. <laughs> Shut your goofy ass up and button your blouse up. No, I want to show my peace necklace. It's <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, what? What? We, we, did we decide on the ones that you just sent to here? <laughs> yes, we're going with those topics. All right, hey. relax. I'm hey. not Maverick. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> they put her baby's doo doo on Instagram. Why? <laughs> He was really like, I'm finna show y'all this. If you don't want it, tap ahead. And then if you didn't tap ahead, she put, and this is what you get. I told you I was gonna do it. It's your fault if you're saying baby do. Maybe. What is what, what Maybe. Do you only having a human you can fully yeah. control? I'm not eating. I'm not I'm not eating over here, Kev. Ugh. How's that feel for you, man? You can fully control another human being. No, mm -hmm. I don't control him at all. He tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that for a second. I don't believe that for a hot second. He tell me when we wake up. He tell me when it's time she, for that. She time. giving uh, a yeah, mom answer. Me? They tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> like the dudes in the audience. I'm scared of my wife. I'm right? She runs the house. Man, 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 man have to get his cries in. He can't even cry when he wants to. <laughs> hey, Mav is in the other room making shoes right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing real work doing right something. now. He, you better he, organize these papers while I'm in here doing this. <laughs> now, what's the purpose of the new iPhone that they're coming before. out with? What's the purpose of it? Does anybody know? You know what the purpose is to hear? They realized that they cannot keep raising the price and not adding nothing new, and the people was onto them. They was like, all right, bro, $400. <laughs> They literally it, ran out. They ran out of inquiry. They have nothing new to offer. They cannot keep. They can't bring nothing to the table and say twelve hundred now. Bro, they brought the home button back on this new phone. Bro, they you <laughs> know they out of options. What? They don't start making the iPhones in reverse. Eventually, we're going to be right back to the four for two. IPod, iPod Shuffle. Like, we know, <laughs> who needs that? Bro, gas is gas is like two ninety five a gallon right now. <laughs> you can't go nowhere. No, not gas is one fifty nine in the south. <laughs> do one, that. Is it? Yes, I drove past uh -huh. and was like, this is college prices, a dollar fifty nine. You can't you can't do it, Pat. It's trying. It's, I'm trying. Yeah. You gotta yeah, be like everybody crazy. talking, you're gonna be like, bagels are great. <laughs> but you know why? You know why Doughboy does it differently? Because most people when they want to change the conversation, they'll be like, they'll preface it with like, and hey, you know what I was thinking about the other day? Oh, y'all ain't gonna believe this. Doughboy just be like, Man, milk is crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> milk is crazy right now? <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, but all jokes aside, I started watching this thing called The Innocent Files on Netflix, and I just couldn't watch it. It was too painful to see. They like, you? How'd you do that again out no, of the conversation about you? Dude, it's, a, it's, it's a whole... It's unparalleled. <laughs> this is, this unparalleled. is skillful at this point. Watch The Innocent Files. They, they lock these dudes up because of their teeth. It's like so weird, but it's like you can't lock somebody up because of their teeth, but their they teeth? did. Their teeth. Mm. Doughboy's in, Doughboy's in the break room of a Pizza Hut right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the ass. Break room. I'm at Kev on Stage Studios. It's lit. Know where you are, and it still looks like you're in the back of a Pizza Hut. <laughs> Y'all not social distancing? <laughs> not even the break room. Wow. This is, this is no, no, nobody's here, so I, I'm up here by myself. I came up here to 
get some um I just came up here. I just I, I just wanted to be there get some alone time with <laughs> See, y'all talked about me wanting to get alone time and now Doughboy no. is admitting he just wanted to get out like, the house. Look, it was like either I'm gonna get out this house or get out this relationship. You pick. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man, that Yo, alone I time is essential. I was I woke up and I was looking at Tahir's hear story. It was like seven a.m. It was like three hours ago. He was just driving downtown L.A. in a free yeah. with the filter on black and white. I was like, bro, he needed some space. You are. I don't. And I don't... it was like six stories of just dope music, and and there was nobody on the freeway but him. I was like, it's a vibe, bro. It's it's nigga it's... relax like a private eye. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, what this quarantine has taught me is that I don't want to be around nobody 24-7 in the world. Can you imagine what the people who have to be around you are thinking? <laughs> you think you driving her crazy? This girl's like, oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine living with Doughboy 24 hours a day? Oh, when he, oh, no. he, Doughboy I was, was probably, I was Doughboy was so probably sent drugs. to Kev on stage studios. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh. Doughboy, you need to go. <laughs> I would be on for her drugs. every day. <laughs> Doughboy probably wake up in the middle of the night like, a shrimp fried this rice? No, uh, I'll I be talking. You know I'll be talking at the house. It's unfiltered. Doughboy be having a hoarse voice? Like, why? How are you yeah. hoarse? I couldn't even talk yesterday. I was like, how is my voice going out? It was like, you've been talking a lot. I was like, shit. Hey, did you guys know that this, the most senior crayon maker at Crayola revealed to his colleagues at his retirement party that he was it's colorblind? It's a doughboy move, ready? Right I'm trying, guys. It was uh, long, so, hey. It's just a robotic. And the long, topic was pure trash. They got to be quick. Did you look that fact up just to say that? <laughs> no, I've just been dwelling on it for a long time. He, wait, wait, was that true, though? At his retirement party, he was like, guys, I'm colorblind. What? <laughs> That is a that is a that is a, a problem with the job you do though. He he made it to the retirement. <laughs> I was like red. I don't How know. do I people? What red looks like. Have y'all been washing regularly? Yeah, Wash. that was a good one. Washing clothes like you just do your your laundry regularly. Y'all uh, been like I, I ain't I done my laundry since. I keep putting the same shirt on. I keep getting the shower and I'll just put the same shirt on, wear it for a few days, wash yeah. it. Wait, I stretched the shirt out for a few days. You guys are disgusting. Let me quiet. Who are you man? switching it you up for? You wash it dry. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> yes, I do have a wash it dry. But Who I'm are you switching it up for? All, okay, well, Pat, I understand because you are you are homeless chic, so I know you don't have a lot of t-shirts, but everybody else up here got a whole lot of shirts. Y'all could just rotate your shirt. You don't need to be wearing the same. Meg, you wearing you wearing I'm different I'm pants suits every day. <laughs> <laughs> Why would y'all give him that? No, Why? you know who <laughs> Meg could be in real life? If if Meg was Helen's character in Ozark, I would believe that 100%. I can see that. You I could be a cartel it. lawyer, funny, and they right? would be like, man, the lawyer, the cartel leader would be like, man, I'm afraid of her, man. She running me. I'm like, <laughs> if Meg was Helen, you'd be dead. Yeah. She'd be getting everybody whacked. Helen sucks. She's like Jane Lynch's evil twin sister. Right. She she is super tall. That lady is super tall. That makes me uncomfortable. I'd be like, hey. Oh, she don't miss a thing, bro. You look one way. She like, what's up with y'all? What is that? What's up with y'all? <laughs> y'all lying? You ain't in y'all answer? I'd be like, dang, girl, get out of my business. Season oh, three. Sleep, my sleep has been thrown off like this entire time, guys. Nice. Oh, is that a doughboy move? Tears better at this than me. It works. It works. <laughs> you just got to slide like into the conversation. Yeah, yeah, you didn't make it personal, bro. Yeah, you didn't like make it he... seem like it's a, a completely different thought. You got to just right. chime in like it's part of a regular response to what y'all talk about. The hair yeah. looks like he's planning a lemon pepper heist. <laughs> <laughs> he we only taking up. wings. No drums. <laughs> I'm not killing no drums. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> killing no <laughs> drums. are my favorite. The great flat heist of 2020. <laughs> no, right, while we in here, drums and flats. Ooh, I don't why people feel so strongly about this debate, uh, but it's flat. Flat. It's, it's drums. drums. Already, first of all, we already talked about this. Second of all, yeah. it's drums all day. Drums have drums. more meat. Drums have more meat. To hear, figured, it out. To hear figured it out, drums are more dippable. Flats I said that. People know how to do that. Then why do you pick flats? You couldn't have said uh, that. But I you did can't, say that, but then but I like. The flats, you take the two bones out, and it's like almost a chicken tender. No. You like it? No, you're no. Like you're working no. out. You're not no. working out. No. You're just getting fat, fatty. <laughs> that is a whole honest, thing. Kevin, did you do your cardio? I ate 100 wings. That's kind of 
I'm doing side so note. Everybody's vote. Flats. Flats. Oh. And side note, last night I found out that Michael Jordan dresses bad in four different decades. <laughs> yeah, it's effortless. <laughs> Yo, Michael Jordan was had terrible clothes but still had swag. No, he didn't. No, he did not. He Where had he the way swag? he walked, you knew that no, dude. He, he has swag. He yeah, has swag, yeah. bro. He Michael, has swag but, and a painter's beret. Michael Jordan's <laughs> best outfit was when he was dressed to play basketball. That's, <laughs> yep, that's, that's it. He don't, have, he, don't, he don't have to be fashionable. There's nothing the whole that he should be. Well, why no. does he have to be fashionable? Because people are pointing cameras people at him. People are looking <laughs> at him, man. People Wait are looking at him. Patrick. Yo, Michael Jordan Patrick, and, and... You got your whole bird chest out, and you be looking homeless chic. Five I like this shirt. I like this shirt. Stand up and show us your pantsuit, your manager <laughs> fit. What, what, man, what so, manager fit did you put on today to make Mav make a new iPhone? <laughs> she, over, she, she over there looking like a WNBA coach. <laughs> she got yeah, a clipboard got in her hand. Clothes, clothes, clothes matches personality, though. My clothes are fine. I don't get what y'all talking about. His little hoop earring and his big suits matches his personality. Y'all don't think that matches No his boy is the Michael Jordan in this group. He's <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I thought you meant I was like, great. Wait, you touched no, out no, this no, dress? You, you dressed <laughs> bad. <laughs> Burberry, Steve Did you Hardy, see the, did you watch it yet, Tom? No, I don't have, I don't have did y'all watch it? Did you watch it, Meg? I don't have yet. No. They, Scotty Pippen got railroaded. Oh, well, I heard there's like a bad, a bunch of bad. Nah, Scotty Pippen got he he made a bad. Bro, I'm telling you, you're black and poor, and you got to take care of your family. They them people will leverage it against you every time. What happened? Scotty Pippen signed a seven year deal for eighteen million dollars because he was trying to make sure his family would get paid in case he got hurt. And by the time Jordan was making thirty million dollars a year, Scotty Pippen was the sixth highest paid bull. Played? The played? Played? Well, more money than Scotty Pippen. He was a, he was a hundred. He was in there. A hundred. He was a number one twenty two. Yes, you say highest played. Oh, you heard? That's my list, though. No, it ain't. They Wait, said they. Wait, here, shut up! You got a robbery in eighteen minutes. <laughs> <He's> got, <laughs> let's, let's keep cutting no boy off before he. No, comes. no, no! I'll get angry. No, so no, 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 no. <laughs> I just go ahead and get into this topic real quick. Right after this. <laughs> Here you go, please. <laughs> oh, no, that's tough. No, wait, what are you eating? Chicken soup. What is that? Chicken blood. War wonton <laughs> soup. <laughs> it's war wonton <laughs> soup. Eating watered down cupcakes. Eating chicken flavored lemonade. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> first topic is Steve Urkel versus Carlton Banks. Can you please make sure you spell this correctly? I will. Oh my God, I did, whatever, I you know, nerd. Oh, Shut up, Zoe. In case like you didn't know, to hear me spelling this wrong all the time in the lower thirds, and it looks stupid. <laughs> that shit is funny, though. Really, to hear? <laughs> hear nobody <laughs> knows that. To hear. To hear. That's not true. Not all to the hear. time. It happened you like one time. You like at least three. <laughs> at least three episodes. It happened, it happened like one time, man. That shit is funny. Three was, times to hear. It was shrimp. I remember the shrimp. All 18 episodes screenshotted and sent it to me. I didn't use this spell shrimp. We uploaded them. It was like S C H R I. You put a C in shrimp? You idiot. No, I didn't. You no, a didn't. dumb dog. It was something like that. It was something like that. That wasn't me. It was skirt. It wasn't. It was it said a shrimp. It was shrimp. He spelled it like he says it. <laughs> he pronounced his owl like owl. Like owl. Like owl Yo, bird. See, he owl. told me one time that he had a job doing underwriting for loans and didn't know at all what that job was and lasted for two weeks before they realized, do you know how to do this? He was like, no, not exactly. Oh That's the George God. Costanza move. He is how'd George you, Costanza. How'd you last two weeks? <laughs> I'm a good liar. He is, oh, in case you didn't notice. No, for sure. You guys got to You just got to be really country. confident. What were you saying when they were like, hey, what do you, you know about this fulfillment doc? You were like, hmm. <laughs> it's fulfilling. When they, when they, when they would ask me stuff, I would um, just use the, the jargon that I had remembered from looking it up, like the day of. Jargon. Like after the first day, I just looked up all the stuff dealing with underwriters. So I could basically like fake my way through it. But the only reason they fired me because I kept falling asleep. The shit was boring. <laughs> oh, they didn't even catch you in the lie? <laughs> you wait, were... wait, 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 wait. You lied, you lied to get a job. They gave it to you. 
and then lost it because you fell asleep? I kept falling asleep. You're a fucking idiot. Repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> I was not so much I got writing no loans. Bro, that, that shit was paying $58 an hour. You think I wasn't going to lie to keep that job? Oh, yeah. That's, that's well, why couldn't you oh, stay awake? Because stay awake, though, it was boring, job. nigga. What, all the lying was and boring? Uh, <laughs> all the, the stuff that you have to use, like, first of all, you have to use, like, three different systems, right? So as an underwriter, I'm basically trying to find when people defaulted on their home loans and why they did it. Then I got to reach out to them and figure out if they will start bad paying or the bank just has to take that loss or we could put it off on the realtor. So they they were telling me about all of these programs. Like you want to log out of Lexus, then you want to jump into this and all that. I was like, that shit dumb, bro. <laughs> but it was for $58. For so, you, so you went back to being broke and you could have $58 an hour. It's hard to stay up, though. <laughs> I used to be oh sleeping at Boeing. They used to write me up at Boeing for falling asleep in meetings. There was I was making great money. In and meetings? I, I, I don't. Oh boy, you you eat other people's lunches out the refrigerators. You shut up. Yeah, but I still stayed awake during my shift, fuck boy. Because you were eating other people's <laughs> lunches during your shift, fat ass. You should have ate other people's lunches then to hear. And to hear, you gotta stop calling me fat when you fat too. <laughs> no, I don't, fatty. Yes. <laughs> what is this freaking topic? Steve Urkel versus Carlton Banks. Look, oh, oh. All right. First topic, we have Steve Urkel versus Carlton Banks. Well, I think that right off the bat, Urkel gets the nod because he had an alter ego. He had Stefan Urkel. That's not so that was dumb. Right off the so bat. So he could, he could shift and that still be dumb. cool. We talk, we talking about Urkel versus not Stefan. But, no, but that uh, is cool. Stefan is him. He nah, can man. Nah, he can it's a different character. He can stop being a nerd, though. Carlton was always a nerd doing this. That's because no, there were no time machines show, and secret formulas in the Fresh Prince. The Carlton show wasn't a nerd. He was just Family Matters happened. was getting ridiculous with the storyline. Hey, let's time travel in this episode. Steve and Carl on the pirate ship. That's nah. where the show ended. That's what made Family Matters. What you, know you what like? Hey, y'all. You know what? I be calling Pat and his brother Steve and Stefan because uh, Pat is like the Steve Urkel, and then his brother is Stefan Urkel. They look just alike. Mm -hmm. no. Stefan Urkel, Urkel, Urkel just Urkel looked the same, though. I was like, bro, that's still just the same guy, though. No, his, his, bo way. his voice was different. He'd be like, yeah, so uh, <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Nigga, the, the nigga came out with his glasses off in a suit. He was still ugly. <laughs> oh. Hey, low key so though. Bad. <laughs> Laura was way finer than Laura. Thank you for saying that. Laura was not all that at all. Who was way finer? Myra. Myra. Steve yeah. Girl. Oh! Oh! Not it's like, it's like the, black. Um, you don't like Laura because she's dark skin. Is that what you're saying? Mm. What? Yeah. Because I feel like Pam was way finer than Gina. Absolutely. Amen. 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 So you set really your goof that. ass up. So here, stop drinking. Don't do it. Don't do it. Go. 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 So <clears throat> the thing about <laughs> Carlton, Carlton was like nerdy, but like he was like not realistically nerdy. Like what yes, he was. Yes, nah. yes, he wasn't a nerd. Carlton Carlton was super realistic. Prep boy. He wasn't like he wasn't like Ugh, I'm a nerd. He was just yeah. Rich boy, Steve, he Steve was very unrealistically nerdy. He was like, over the top nerdy. That's but that's what nerds did. They had suspenders. No, they did. Glasses, calculators. Oh, no. how many did you know that was like that? That was that nerdy. Well, I'm just saying it, it played on the stereotypes in society at the time. No, and so Rachel what do you was think a ridiculously the over the top nerd stereotype. I never went to school with a nerd that had a, a pocket protector ever. In life, I, I, I think that only existed in TV and movies. I never really saw nobody that that was that nerdy. I never saw it either. Before our time, though, huh? Like pocket protectors and all that stuff wasn't that. Nah, like I was, I was, I was Urkel's age when that show was coming out. No, not when that show came out. When Come pocket stereotype and, and oh, that, like that probably was like freaks and geeks time period, like early eighties. I feel like that's just more of a um, a scientist trait. Scientists would have <laughs> pocket protectors right. so they wouldn't get their lab coat stained with the ink. What is a pocket protector? Is that what it was for to hear? Yeah, yeah. so it, it <laughs> lined like a <laughs> you know, pocket on your jacket. So when you put a pin in it, it didn't get the pin mark on it. That's a pocket protector. Mm. I did not know that's what was for scientists originally. I had, I had no idea about that. How were they walking around with uncapped pens? <laughs> 
How many? Who really like? Goes, oh, I need to cap my pen or right. every time. This time you forgot. Especially when you like, focus no. on the virus, you like. All right, we got to get this microbiology. Oh <laughs> <laughs> wait, let me make sure that the pen is up. Shut right. Up, I got time. How did that man? become a problem? A nigga looked in his pocket like, damn, this. this yes. Is all up. They got. They got women. <laughs> They be like, look at all these ink stains on your shirt. Imagine Meg seeing her scientist husband come home. He got red, blue. I'm sick of your shirt. The ins- <laughs> who's trying to start with the inside of their breast? No, 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 no. no, no, no. It, it wasn't just. It wasn't. It wasn't just for pens, though, Pat. Like, if you're a professor or a doctor, like you have. Sometimes it was a pen. It was a highlighter. It might have been a marker. It. It was everything that that person may have needed. So it wasn't. If you get a highlighter or a marker on your white shirt, it's it's ruined. So a pocket protector will protect it. It was basically. It's just so funny that we have to explain this to Pat. Pat, Pat is like, like, like that's a dumb invention. It's a that dumb. is, I don't. Did you really need the pen? Like they was like, I don't have time to go to my pants. I need it right here. I gotta, <laughs> it. I gotta pull it out quick. If you got on a lab coat. A lab coat goes over your pant pocket. So this is easier to grab it from here. Yeah, than but you, I mean, uh, pull your coat back to pull. That don't take time. Like, oh, okay, well, what, 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 what takes time? Like, look at this. Look at this versus look up and going to pop. And if you the same thing, the same you amount of down at the lab, you are, you reaching in your folded ass. With the pocket. cap on the pen. How about that? And Click. And if you're sitting down, you're sitting always down remember to do that. Pat, Pat, Pat keep coming back to the. <laughs> Hey, just go back to working at laser tag. Don't worry about this. <laughs> if you really, if you really want to put an uncapped pin in your pocket, just put it upside down. Pat, just go back to working. At I laser think, tag. I think pound for pound with the laughs. I think that Steve gave you more pound for pound laughs than Carl. That was a random getting us back. That was. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> no boy right. staying on track. It's like judo. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Carlton to me was legit funnier. He had some he had some barbs for Will. He had the dance. His he had some powerful episodes with the speed and stuff. Like he, he was I, a fully realized character. He was a fully yeah. realized character. Carlton yeah. only got on Will's nerves because of the way they grew up. Like in right. his own family, Carlton wasn't even really a problem. He was just he was just a rich kid. But for Will, it was like they came from two different worlds. So no. they Carlton was Carlton was the nart in his family. Everybody knew that he was one that would tell on you, because he was like, "Hey, big guy, just want to let you know." As he's talking about going to what, like Carlton was the nart for everybody. Right, and nobody likes a snitch. But they I, like Carlton though. But nobody yeah. likes a snitch. I'm from the streets. I come from a street background. I can't respect that. You I thought you me? came from a church background. It's either it gonna was, be the streets or the church. The you church, church, the the you church was in the streets. The church was in the hood. I was ministering to the gangbangers in the hood. That's where I was at. <laughs> I was not part of the ministry. But nah, like I feel like we can't respect snitches. Like Carlton was a tattletale. Carlton was not no snitch. He was. He's what a did he snitch? He just told you. He just gave you an example. I don't, I don't think that really happened in, in the drug game. Carlton's a civilian. No, that I bet you used to tell on people. You was you telling when you was a kid on people? Me? Yes. Can't yeah. Ask face. yeah, exactly. So, so you think it's cool? That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. I, don't be t- I told him my brother and sister the 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 by the way, when they got whooped. I was like, yeah. This is cool. <laughs> I told him about the time I, I got in trouble. I told my dad. I was like, he was like, did you take out the trash? I was like, Michelle smoked a cigarette. He was like, what? <laughs> like she was smoking Damn cigarettes. Man. He was like, why'd you say that? I was like, I don't know. Get you out <laughs> Yeah. And then I got whooping for that. And she didn't even get in trouble. I was like, that's, hey, that's what you get. He was trying to get it, though. Smoky. <laughs> Kev, six, the Kev, trash. Six, nine over here. Oh, these are all wrong, man. <laughs> See? This. Nobody but likes I, But I have been uh, playing a lot of Bioshock on my Twitch channel. Is this a Doughboy? It doesn't movie? work for you. Now. <laughs> How was that? How was that? It's part of uh, Doughboy's personality. It doesn't work for you. Why didn't that work, though? It's that you're doing it. Huh? What is it's obvious that you're doing it? But I was. But how was that? <laughs> it yeah. a little bit. You like waited till everybody calm down. You gotta. You got You gotta hop in. You gotta hop in. Right. 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 Y'all don't stop. Ugh. Here's the secret. You gotta right. hop in. Like people are already talking about it. Like you're responding to someone. Y'all That's what I tried to do. Okay, time. <laughs> I got it. Hey, Tony, go, go, everybody just be quiet so Tony can say what he want to say. Oh, y'all are talking over each but other. Like I was saying, Kev, what you got to understand is that. Jesus Christ. Tony be so offended. It's just too much. You're so old. 
<laughs> uh, it's not even old. It's just it it's too old. much. The way you react is somebody's great uncle. I could be in first grade, just be like, it's too much, guys. <laughs> Shut up, yo. We Shut have been up. talking over each other more than usual today's episode. <laughs> have we? I don't even hear it. It is the <laughs> hardest thing about Zoom. You don't, I have no idea when you're about to talk with the lag. I I already talk over people when we're in the same room. Yes, you do. If Zoom, I'm working on it, but with Zoom, I can't I can't get a sense of if you're talking or not. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Carlton wasn't no snitch, and he had the gun on him in one episode. How he did have the blicky. He did have the blicky. Will had to be like, give me the gun, Carlton. He's like, nah, playboy. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about Steve Urkel that's interesting is he was not even supposed to be a main character like that. He was Talk about it. As a like a reoccurring, he was just supposed to be. I don't know what that show was supposed to be about before he was supposed to be about right. that. Thing. I don't even think it would have worked for a long time because he was Judy, whole thing. okay? Judy don't know what's about either. Steve Urkel single-handedly made that show last a good four more seasons. Oh, yeah. Steve well, Urkel yeah. yeah. had quotables, too. Did I do that? <laughs> but I feel like only kids <laughs> like that. I can't imagine an adult, like, really enjoying that show. We was kids yes, when it came out. Was it no, no, I get it. I, I was a kid. I liked it, but I can't imagine oh, if I was... If when you were 30, you were watching it, Fresh Prince, it's still good. I don't Family know. Family Matters didn't age well. No? Your parents watched it with you. But I don't think they enjoyed it. TGIF, TGI, like all those shows. Ah, I was there. That's what I'm saying. So your parents was watching those things. I felt like my mom didn't watch it with me. Which show do you guys think, which show do you guys think would um, take a bigger loss if that character was removed, though? Family oh, Matters. Family Matters, Matters would have even been a show. Okay. There was nothing memorable about Family Matters. I can't Urkel even tell you any Urkel. episode that didn't revolve around Urkel, like what that was. Okay, but wait. So, but I will say this. Urkel was more, I feel like he had more going for himself. Like he was smart. He, you know, he was in love with Laura. What was Carlton's thing besides being annoying? He's he just did that smart. little dance. That's smart too. But as I'm, I'm saying, but like, what what was his like? I don't remember him. He was a privileged kid from Bel Air, so he That's just. That's what I'm saying. That, there was, was nothing it? else to him. Like, if you think about about him. Carlton. Yeah, yes. he wasn't really layered as a character. Well, yes, no, he, he kind of he played, he played on the whole whitewashed character. Whitewashed, and then re re remember the episode where the black frat dudes <laughs> judged Carlton because he was nerdy. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and he talked about the whole being black and talking white thing. How y'all yeah. gonna say Carlton wasn't a red for <laughs> Yeah. They didn't watch the show, apparently. I did watch the show, but I'm saying it was, to me, it was not very, nah, it wasn't a the, whole lot. Urkel, Urkel was a gimmick. Carlton was a character. There you go. But his had, he had hopes, he had dreams, he had faults. He had episodes of Revolve. He had, he was yeah, funny, bro. Remember that episode with the pills? Huh? Remember the episode with the pills? Yeah, man. The best episode, two of the three best Fresh Prince episodes have Carlton in them. Nah, but I feel like Carlton, like, he was a character. He was just not a memorable character. I don't what? remember a ton of- What are you talking about? I don't, I don't, don't remember. Wait, 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 wait. You don't remember Carlton Banks from the Fresh Prince. Hold on, wait, 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 What was the, the youngest son name, though? On um, what show? Fresh Prince. <laughs> you don't know. Richie? No. Nicky. That's family man. Nicky, Richie, okay. His name was Nicky. You don't even remember him. Because he was only there for like- he was only there for like one season, nigga. That was a trash That's not character. true. That was a, how many seasons was he there? That was he was there for two to three seasons. seasons. Okay, shut up, nigga, I don't care. No one cares about Nikki. Nikki was a trash You just be saying stuff. I don't remember, I don't remember Nikki like that, to be honest. No, no I'm not talking about you saying, you're saying no. Carlton wasn't a memorable character in the no, Fresh Prince. No, but, no, because you he said he was the second most memorable character after Will. No, but what I'm saying was no, he just- Dr. Uncle Phil. No, no, no. But what nah, was... man. Uncle Phil was mainly to to be the straight man for Will's jokes. That right, was important. Listen. And this is oh, another... he was important, but he was not as memorable as Carlton. Yeah, I, right. I can't respect. The, I mean, the Fresh Prince is always going to have an asterisk by their name anyway for swapping out Aunt Vibs in the middle of production and we not even addressing it to, to the audience. They got nothing to do with what we talk about. They still have an asterisk by their name. 
We so talked about that Carl. Means, that means Fairman kind of had the asterisk too because Judy was gone and no with no explanation. How Judy y'all have left. Kids, how y'all got two and nobody said anything. The whole kid disappeared on the disappeared. show. Disappeared. Never came back. You know what's funny about that? I didn't remember. I didn't realize that until I was old. As I was watching that, I was like, <laughs> "Don't nobody care about." It. They had too many Judy people in the house. Never, like, never came back. No. Will anybody miss her? Probably not. And then they just was like, "All right." <laughs> I seen her uh, a couple months ago. Where was she at? She was uh, in Burbank in front of Yogurt Land. Did she look the same? Oh, she was she was on her fifteen minute break. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Going back uh, to the Aunt Viv thing, the first Aunt Viv, I don't know. Did I ever talk about this on this show where she gave me a YouTube strike? Yeah. Oh, not on this show. <laughs> YouTube the first Aunt Viv, she hit me on a YouTube strike because oh, I was yeah. making fun of her because she went super hard on, on Will one time and I made fun of her and she got my YouTube video <laughs> taken down. <laughs> and I and I got it taken, I got it like read back up. Like I won the, the little copyright battle on YouTube, but I, I just kept the video private. I was like, I don't hey, want these problems with that. Get that, that strike video. button like this. <laughs> <laughs> The thing that was the weakest part about switching out the Aunt Viv, when they switched to the light skin one, they was like, we're not going to develop you at all. Like, no. the first Aunt Viv had storyline, had character. The, the second Aunt Viv was just up in there. It was locked yeah. up. And the and kids that's... didn't match with the second Aunt Viv. I feel nah. like you needed You, you just needed didn't want to get fired. So she just went in and read the script. She was like, I'm not adding nothing to it. Right. I'm not taking nothing from it. I'm just going to read it how it is on the paper. But the, mom, but the mom from Dexter's Laboratory is by far the finest mom, though. Okay. You that was it. good. That was better, yeah. Pat, but that was still kind of on track, though. <laughs> yeah, it was on track. That was too on track. You would have to say Dexter's Laboratory was a really funny cartoon that nobody talks about. That's what Doughboy would have said. That is, that is absolutely Doughboy. You're really doing a Doughboy tutorial here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing a paper on you, man. <laughs> I'm going with, I'm, need a vote, man. Shut I'm going up. with Urkel. Urkel just because... He could switch into the cool dude so he didn't have to stay in the herd. He has so many catchphrases and just the hustler mentality that he started off as a bit role, revolutionized the show, and the show was about him and wouldn't have functioned without him. So he he not really a hustler revolutionized mentality. the show. No one just be saying words. That is a hustler mentality. He, his no. character was he set for like. In, he came in, did the role, they were like, yo, this works. Let's keep him. That's not a hustling mentality. You know what's sad, though? He, he never, what's his name? Stefan, what's his real the name? Lil White. White. The Lil White. He, what else did he do outside of that? He's done what a else? lot of voice over work. He, he was Sonic the Hedgehog in the cartoon. Oh. What, did, what, did Alfon, what did Alfonso Ribeiro do? He's hosting he the game show right now. He hosts a lot of stuff. Uh, what is it? America's Funniest, Funniest Home Videos. Video. Video. He, ho- he hosted the spelling game show that I won, Spellmageddon. You did that. what? I was on a spelling game show and I won ten thousand dollars. Like, that's oh. so amazing. Did you really win ten thousand dollars spelling game? Ten thousand dollars on Spellmageddon. It was what like, on earth? You wow. never brought this up in the five years we've known you. What the I hell? I feel like I have. I feel like I have. Actually, no. You brought up the, 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 the keep a ter- twerking thing. We don't know about Spellmageddon. No, it, it actually was. I like left work one day. I didn't come in. I told him I was sick, and then I went to this game show. And it was a spelling game show, and I'm really good at spelling. So I was like, I'm about to win this because I love me some game shows. And y'all, I won ten thousand dollars. How much did they take in taxes? Forty, four, four grand. It was like eight. They took eight, or you took no, eight? No, no, no. They took two. I, I got like oh, eight. After oh, that. that's good. That's hey, pretty you good. Started working one eight grand. Yeah, that's all. I was like, it's worth it. Sorry, I'm going it. Was worth it. Mm. That's tight as hell. Man, you still got the money. You still got that money before the episode aired, or you had to wait till the episode aired to get it. You have to wait till episode airs. Yeah, same. You still got that money, man? Oh, I invested that. I'm good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Bill McGettin may be the worst <laughs> name for a show. Oh, that's true. Oh, far. oh yeah. No, sh- one no, no. Shark- Sharknado is the worst. That's, the best that's a movie. movie. That Bill McGettin, man. That's And old. Sharknado was really about sharks and the tornadoes. Pretty clear. <laughs> they just didn't waste no time. <laughs> what the hell was that? They made I, that movie on a on a on an old computer. I <laughs> hate I hate that title. And then wait, movie. wasn't there like five Sharknado movies? Yes, I mean, they can't they be doing one. numbers too. Like those movies are really popular. Slick, Slick did one. Slick, one of them. Slick Johnson did one. I remember that. And Vivica A. Fox. Yeah. Oh, really? Terrible. Man, you went from Kill Bill to Sharknado. <laughs> she is, man, she Vivica Fox just fell. Where is she at? He's Man. doing black stage plays mostly. 
Really? No, she's, she's also she's she's producing a comedy show. Was too. a black male review show. The Black Magic Mike stuff. She does. She has a whole like reality show to pick the guys who are in the. But she used to be like a a, a really top heralded actress, right? I don't know. Here's, here's, here's my thing with that. I don't I don't judge it as long as they still Not work. Harold it. Care, care if you heard that. <laughs> Not the Harold it. What is Harold? Right, Harold is the right word. No boys just be trying to throw words in. That, that word no works. Harold did work. Work is just unnecessary. Not that Harold it. You didn't have to throw that in there. Does that make sense? Yes. It does. Yes. But it's just yeah. unnecessary. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't judge people off of that because Samuel L. Jackson to take some wild ass roles and some random stuff, but he's still working, but he's still top billing too. So you don't judge him for doing the stage plays? Huh? You were saying you don't judge him for doing the stage plays? No, like like Sharknado and stuff like that. Bro, that's your job. You, you gotta act. Actor is only employed when they are acting. If they ain't acting, they ain't working. So I'm never right. true. Right. The thing about yeah, Vivica Fox, it was like Independence Day, set it off, kill Bill. She could have just kept going. That's what I was saying, yeah. She kept like, but, she, then she, but then she dated 50 Cent, and 50 is the downfall of a lot of people. Damn. No, she did. She ended up doing like four movies wow. with Morris Chestnut, didn't she? Yeah, oh, that, like, Gabby, she that, 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 that was before 50 Cent, though, bro. Gabrielle, it was, no, it wasn't until 50 Cent, y'all, and then she just fell off. Was, like, 50 Cent, was 50 Cent prior to when she started doing a lot of plastic surgery? I didn't know she did plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, bro, look at her in you independent. Look at her now. I don't, that's the thing. I don't be knowing when people get work done. I can't just look and tell. Like, you got to tell me that they did it. I can't can, tell. I, can you tell Lil' Kim's had work done? Yeah. Well, I think, yeah, because it's like, it looks different. But can just like. Can you tell like, Kim Kardashian has work done? No, I couldn't tell. Like, unless you told me, like, I can't just, I can't just look it's and know. Good. Like, even. You all it, took a bunch of little Armenian chicks walking around with that much cake and no thigh. I don't. I just, how do you, how can you tell by the Armenian expert? Is she the norm or is she abnormal? Huh? Who's the Armenian expert? I said, you're the resident because he lives around a whole bunch of Armenians. Do, is she the norm or is she abnormal? She abnormal. She is? Right. Armenian, Ar Armenian women are thick. I will give you that. But they don't have they the size. Like, they not like it. The size like match. Yeah. All my the thighs work. match. All thighs match. All my question is this, though. You look, if the thighs is like this, and you're like, oh, that's a little ratio. It's a lot off. Then but my like question is this, though. How can you look at an ass and tell that it's fake? Like, what? You look at the thighs that it's sitting on. Yeah. The, the thigh like ratio, the if you look at... Not that I've ever seen her. If you look at Meg the Stallion, the ratio of thigh meat to booty Not meat. Not that I've ever seen her. <laughs> I, I, from what I tell, from what people have told me, the ratios <laughs> are proportionate Man. to the thigh. So you can't so have like so the real be looking like church's chicken drumsticks. Like, bro, this is this ain't even a regular piece of chicken. What y'all oh. did to this? Gotcha. So what's your answer, Kev? What's your answer? Huh? D oh, Carlton by a mile. Carlton, okay. Though you would, with you would. Steve, Earth. Steve. What about you, Pat? Why? That's um, my decision. Carlton, <laughs> Carlton, Tony. Uh, I'm going with Carlton Banks. Okay, Meg. Steve Urkel, just because of Stefan Urkel. Okay, and I'm gonna go with. Man. I'm gonna <laughs> go with Carlton Banks as well, man. I'm gonna rock with that. So it looks like the Carltons have it. Nobody did he bring the lights in. No, it's just a regular light. You got to put the lights on before you shoot the next thing. Not the next topic, but you should always have, because you, with the hat and the sunglasses, your whole face is dark. That's better. Chicken strip. You got to have some light in front of you always on these, because we, without it, you just get, it just looks dark. Yeah, but with Y'all the ready? prominent Neanderthal brow, it still has like a shadow here, so you would still need <laughs> more light. <laughs> you said your, your forehead looked like a bumper. <laughs> Nigga got a 94 Caprice forehead. Your forehead is the thing Paul Walker grabbed on the Fast and Furious when he jumped back up that truck. <laughs> I got a question for y'all before we go. What, of the Fast and Furious movie, what is the most ridiculous thing they have ever done? The oh, helicopter. The car swing on the oh, road. No, when the car was like, what was it, parachuted out of a plane? Them cars, all the, all the cars. Oh, no, that happens. No, that can happen. No, when they had the uh, and they land and just off. drive. You you guys saw the car jump off and grab the the rope and swing across the ca uh the canyon. Yeah, that was no, fun. There was, no, there was a part on Hobbs and Shaw where he did something and 
he was in the air and just, and then there was a part where he was fighting, he had khakis on, then he had a whole Samoan skirt. It was just different. It's, he switched it. No boy's example was trash. He was I like, think was the most thing. ridiculous thing is The Rock. I don't know if Hobbs and Shaw count, but The Rock holding a helicopter with his bare oh, yeah, hands. Yeah, yeah, I was just like. Holding? What do you mean? He was holding the helicopter and the and the tow truck with the chain. He was oh, holding man. them together with his yeah, that A helicopter with human arms. That is probably, of all the stuff, that would have ripped his arm off. Didn't he, didn't he grab a missile out of the air and throw it? He grabbed it off the he ice did. and redirected it. He redirected. He pulled the redirected it. The most ridiculous one to me is when Toretto caught his girl midair. Oh! And he landed. He was like, yeah, let me catch you midair. And then they landed. <laughs> no concussions, no contusions, no broken collarbones, nothing. Next up, next up we have chicken oh. tenders versus chicken nuggets. Why do you want such a pronounced entrance? I thought we already, I thought he already did that. So Are you not going to use the I have to separate by the cuts. I'm, so I need something for y'all to have a break so I can, you know what? They, they never you break, though. You that always bring the topic, then they talk about other stuff. <laughs> I thought you wanted all that other banter. That was funny stuff. It was. But this is the issue that I have. You're not going to delete that, are you, to hear? Delete what? The Fast and the Furious stuff. It's in the break. I mean, I'll find, I can try to find a place to put it in. Don't, because that's what y'all get for not following the rules. He said this is the break, and then y'all want to have the a The rules party. are you get married, then you have a baby. You so didn't follow that rule. You need to talk to everybody that's up That's here. your it's rule of a girl. That's why, including Tahir, including Tony, you, you ain't including none of them. Ah, have the kids you don't want to, no, no. If you don't want to talk, that's that's really sexist. Very no, good. you're a Christian. This is your rule. What if it? Everybody up here is Christian. I got married I'm, I'm and had the kids. Okay, kid. well, what you look at kids? Look, everybody else up here, with the exception of Pat. Why you ain't saying that? They ain't kids? rule followers. You supposed to be following the rules. Uh -uh, I'm ratchet. We all rule following. No, I'm ratchet. I'm ratchet. I said that. I'm ratchet. I'm, I'm, I'm married I'm, into a kid. I'm married into a kid. I'm, that's I'm the fine to hear. I got, got a girl kind of pregnant on my virginity law. That wasn't my baby. <laughs> you shut up, Tony. <laughs> I'm saying, you know, I got, anyway, I got to me, pregnant, my day chicken nuggets that. and chicken tenders are the same family, but they are on opposite sides. For whatever reason, they be tasting different to me. And I know it's the same meat. It's a whole mind thing for me. The nugget is too much bites. Bite, dip, bite, dip, bite, dip. Too much. I mean, the, the tender, I'm sorry. The nugget, one dip, bite, happiness. You're crazy. If they're the that... same family, chicken tenders are the fine cousin. Chicken yep. nuggets are the stubby cousin. <laughs> You're <laughs> but this is the thing though it's really easy to mess up chicken tenders it's harder to mess up nuggets because they're smaller and compact size it's hard to get that consistency sometimes with chicken strips they're either too crunchy or just too bready you don't they really have better breading they always have better who, breading than nuggets. who has crunchy always. chicken tenders where you go you getting super crunchy chicken tenders from McDonald's. Pope popeyes kfc McDonald's. popeyes don't be making them super crunchy, crunchy? all the chicken in popeyes is super crunchy it is not crispy. super crunchy it is it is it's a like crunchy like, uh, commercials but you get it. chicken is crunchy it is the captain crunch of fried chicken <laughs> what absolutely it's tough on the roof of your mouth Captain okay. Crunch's real name is Horatio Magellan Crunch. <laughs> it's still too close, Pat. We he that brought up Captain one. Crunch. That was the best one. Something else. But nuggets, I like. I like nuggets because I don't feel as guilty. I can knock back twenty nuggets and be like, oh, they're just nuggets. If you eat twenty strips, it's like, oh, man, I twenty really strips sick. are never together at one time, though. Right? Oh, yes, Nobody they are. should ever eat twenty <laughs> strips. Like you can't even go somewhere and order twenty strips unless you're oh. like a family meal. Like you, shut, you shut down the whole restaurant when you order that. Wait, 20 strip. Wait, do we <laughs> grab the, turn, turn the lights off. Grab the, put the pumps down. We got to turn the lights off. They never ready for that. Uh, turn the lights off. Wait, chicken yeah, tenders is a lot. I love chicken. Chicken tenders you know, come in three you know, and five. Chicken you know tenders that. is a meal versus nuggets being a snack. Like nuggets is like something you have before dinner's ready. I'm going to pop a couple of nuggets in the oven. It's going to hold me over to dinner. Tenders, that's a whole meal. Go, go to Wingstop. You eat, you eat nuggets before dinner? Free nuggets. You fat fuck. Free nuggets? 
free nuggets? You have warm up nuggets? <laughs> I get. I used to get nuggets with the burger and fries though. I've done that. Really? Usually, usually chicken tenders is chicken tenders, fries, and then some sauce. That's fat. You get nuggets and a burger? Yes. And Let me ask you, you guys, what's you the best? All that for five dollars. What's the best dipping sauce? Polynesian, Polynesian sauce and Chick Fil A. Sweet and, and sour for me. Polynesian and Chick Fil A sauce mixed together. Gross. All of it. Is it weird that I use different sauce for nuggets as opposed to tenders? I'm I feel the same like way. Tenders it's a different feel flavor experience. Tenders are like honey mustard, whereas yes. nuggets are like bar barbecue. No, stuff. chicken tenders are ranch. Nuggets are barbecue. Oh, hell no. Chicken tenders hell are barbecue. No. Yeah. Chicken All tenders you know, are don't ketchup. Have against ranch. You whoa, 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 whoa. Chicken whoa. tenders are ketchup. You are trifling. Ketchup? You are trifling. I you said are what I said. They were ketchup. Ketchup for the tip. You got Chick-fil-A nuggets, you would have eaten with ketchup? No, Chick-fil-A nuggets is the Polynesian sauce. Oh, Chicken okay. tenders is the ketchup. No, nah, ranch. You got to put ranch. And I don't even like ranch like that. Barbecue. Ranch is trash. Hey, nah. wait a minute. But y'all y'all do know that outside of Chick-fil-A, we're not talking about Chick-fil-A, every other restaurant, the chicken nuggets is a different type of chicken meat as opposed to the chicken strip. It's dark, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Dark, yeah. Right? Because it seems like y'all think it's the same one, but it's more like processed ground up for yeah. the chicken nuggets. It's nugget. what's left over. Nuggets are usually made with what's left over. You can tell the McDonald's chicken Thank nuggets you. is just the shoelaces from the chicken. <laughs> and the back but it's so good. They boot shape. Why is that an attractive It's always the boot shape nugget in every I one. hate that. What I part? like McDonald's. That's, my, that's one guilty like pleasure. Wait, I'm not going to give up. I, I like the nuggets at McDonald's. They I know who well is, is filth and random body parts. But they, they what are really they basing not. the look of a nugget off of? Like, how did they, they even come up with it? basing it off of what you would want to dip into a thing. They were pre-scientifically made to dip yeah. into that container. You want to dip the boot foot right up in the, in the sauce. Does it have anything to do with, like, gold nuggets? No. I don't know. I never. But, but they're not shaped like a boot. But who is known? Let me ask you this, because I would say that arguably McDonald's got the best nuggets. Who would you even say has the best strips? Is there even a place that has the best strips? Chick-fil-A has the best both. Chick-fil-A has the best Raising Cane's. Raising Cane's got the best strips. Is is bland. I like it. It is bland to hear. It is super bland. Ain't no seasoning on it. They hot sauce ain't hot. Raisin Cane's is trash. Raisin Cane's not. Just not. That's not Raisin Cane's is the in and out burger of the chicken world. Hella, <laughs> hella regular. There is I, I think that is the most astute observation. Dairy Queen has the best chicken strips. Oh, shut Yo, your mouth. Dairy Those Queen. Those are hella crunchy, though. Their chicken strips are flames. They hella crunchy, though, but they toast is flames. They toast is good. Their toast is good, too. What do you I, have against crunch? It's, it's too fine, much. Though. It's too much crunch. He has it's small teeth toast. That's what this belt is saying every day. It's too much. When he bites some Dairy Queen's around here. And the reverberation goes through his gums and nerves. He can't take the crunch. The hell hey, Dairy Queen doesn't get no notoriety for their chicken tenders, and they are amazing. Chicken tenders. Good time. Good time. There's what? You're talking about the crunch like you got 70 year old teeth, dope boy. What's wrong with your teeth? No, no, no. There's Dairy Queen in Westville Mall. This is Dairy Queen in Burbank. But you know what? That Dairy Queen doesn't serve food, though, Tony. They only serve ice cream. I'm okay with that. Flash Orange Julius. Orange Julius is the best. It's way better than Jamba Juice. What is Orange Julius? It's the best drink you ever had in your life, fool. I kick your ass, nigga. I ain't supposed to be saying that. <laughs> Yo. Oh, so tough, though. Yo, Orange Julius oh, orange. is that it's that talk, you heard? Orange Julius is like Yo, fake. Tom, when you ate the chicken tenders from Dairy Queen, you know they came with the gravy. Yes. yes. I already oh, said that. You don't listen to gravy. me. Man, it's, the, it's the Zoom. I, I can't. We all be talking. It's the I don't gravy, know. the Texas toast, the fries, and the chicken I tenders. Texas. I was Man, getting I all my own supply at Dairy Queen. <laughs> Texas oh, toast is so different. They found Tony in the corner like, Tony, you, you on the red zone, man. I ain't got you damn you. <laughs> you know what I noticed? Dairy <laughs> Queen do be having some fire like fast food. And you don't think yes. about Dairy Queen when you're like, oh, I'm a, I got to get fast food. But the food is actually. Dairy Queen is out of this world good. It's, what does they have? They got it. chilling Ice grill. Cream, That's yes. the whole thing. Chill. They got, like, they got chilling grill. I used to be. There was a Burger King by my house in Tacoma, bro. Are you talking? About three times a week, chicken tenders, gravy, 
toast. One of those chocolate things dipped in the chocolate. Oh, the dip thing? Oh, that was just fine. Oh, my God. Dairy Queen was never busy. You, There would never be more than two cars at Dairy Queen. The food was always hot. They need more respect. Because they cooked it to order. They're like, oh, we can drop them, and then they drop them. I'm finna go over there. Where is it at? <laughs> all around here. There's no Yo, toast, you man. You would never think Dairy Queen toast. They might be having the best toast of all. Yo, Yo, you, nigga, they have no. a chicken and biscuits pack now. That's oh, oh Lord, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, went, I went to Dairy Queen yesterday. Those are mini biscuits, though. It's it's not even like real biscuits. It's like the size of baguettes, like this small. I'll little. take it. I'll Let take me it. ask y'all this though: Who are you taking if you got one shot, Sonic or Dairy Queen? Sonic food is awful. But they, their oh, drinks. Hold on, Karen. Well, what what you say? say? Yeah, they're. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Everybody stop. Sonic they legit. Good tater tots, but their food food is terrible. No, their chicken sandwich is lit. Nah, man. Nah. The hot dogs I'm are good. The little hot dogs with all the extra stuff on it is really good. Nah. Good. I'm going with their ocean Queen, water float. Sonic is good. That's so good. The ocean water float is bomb. Ocean water, their drinks and their dessert are amazing. Their food just does not match. Like Dairy food. Queen is good at dessert and food. That's facts, though. Nah, Sonic is. Sonic just has the best drinks available. Sonic has really it's, good it's, toast it's, too. It's, Don't it's sleep great. on Sonic's toast. And their and their burgers. The burgers at yeah. Sonic are great, bro. Burgers are nah, good, man. You're great. <laughs> also, you know what? In the chicken tender argument, Zaxby's also has really good chicken tenders. Hey, Zaxby's also has good chicken tenders. I heard it. And they have good toast as well. Well, if you if you Zax me, I'll say that Dairy Queen is Zaxby. It would have worked if you had it the first time, but I got you. <laughs> That's me. Okay, so what I hate about LA, there's so many restaurants in the South that are like everywhere that did not make it to LA. Bojangles, Bojangles. Bojangles, Zaxby's, Rallies, Checkers. There's so many that are just mad. She has, she has her pick. And they have the stuff that's in LA too. They have Chick fil A, they have all the stuff. Oh, we they don't have, have lemonade oh. though. Mm, I miss Don't have what? Lemonade. Who There's cares lemonade. about lemonade? Right. Lemonade. 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 Is, that's cool. Oh, that's, that's that food is awful. Lemonade is amazing. Are you serious? No, not. A restaurant lemonade? Yeah. Lemonade is trash. Lemonade is, is No, it's amazing. Lemonade is, the, is flames. Wait, we're talking, we talking, talking about the, the restaurant, right? Yeah. yeah. It has all the different lemonades and it has like all the different vegan vegetarian meats. Oh, they have good healthy options the for mac you. Mac and cheese is dreadful. No, the mac, mac and cheese is good. It's white truffle mac and white cheese. Truffle, you don't yes, even know. You don't too even much. Eat it. Dreadful. Dreadful. Mac and cheese. Shut You're up, probably you probably don't eat eater. Tony don't eat meat, so he doesn't get all the delicious. But meat. lemonade has a whole bunch of healthy options. Like right. they have plenty yeah. of healthy options are but. But but it is so good. They got, got so like, close to the camera. <laughs> what? They got like brisket bowls. Lemonade. That cool. Okay, so what are we thinking? Chicken tenders or chicken nuggets? I'm going for the for the culture nuggets because I thug it. I hate it so much. Dude, I'm go we need Doughboy, bro. <laughs> Dude, we cannot have a debate show if there's no Skip Bayless. We Come on, man. Doughboy. Hate it or love it, you need it. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> chicken tenders from, I don't know, man. Tahir made a good point. We made fun of him, but chicken chicken nuggets are more of a snack. Chicken tenders are a meal. You got you, you to just think of the eye roll factor. I haven't eye rolled on that many nuggets. Where you just be like, oh, yes. What, you do that? Yes. Food, Pat? You Have you had your food? eyes? For food? Have you wait, had wait, food? Wait, wait, Tony, what do you roll? I roll like he's that. He's saying it's so I'm good that he's like having Oh, yeah. Wait, what do you do that for now, Tony? Because you're vegan. What What do you? What oh, here you we go it? with the vegan <laughs> joke. Does it food is no longer good. But he eats a celery stick and starts gripping his thighs. Oh, <laughs> oh. get it, guys. Yes, food He does it for kale. Now, he does it for kale and almonds. <laughs> Almond butter. The Beyond Meat yeah. Burger is better than any uh, burger out right now. Absolutely. You you lying if they ain't flame. I don't. It, it it it. The reason why I can't trust it, it tastes too much like meat, and I don't trust it. It's like, bro, it's it's too too close. It's Beyond Meat. It's the whole point. I'm going with nugs. 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 What about nug? You, give you bug. Nug. Give you bug. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Pat. 
strips. You guys are tripping. Strips always have better breading. They always are better. It's just always a better time. Plus, nuggets could be rat meat. Oh, sh- so could strips. Rat meat? Mm-hmm. You know that there's a whole bunch of uh, rat meat imported that was uh, being disguised as boneless chicken. Okay. No, All right, what about you, Tom? Where you at with it? I'm going with those young tenders, you heard? Yeah. And Meg, you're the deciding Nugget. factor. Nuggets. Yeah. Nuggets. Stri- yeah, strips is just too much meat. Let's give me some nuggets. You know that chicken, <laughs> man? That chicken went out there, and it was dance for money. That chicken strips. All right, so it's 3-3, tied up on that one, no winner. Uh, We're going to get on with this last and final topic. Here we go, final one. Ladies and gentlemen, this one's a good one. Morning sex versus night sex. Hey, to hear, how many uh, whales did you catch today? <laughs> <laughs> it worked so much better the second time. Oh, no, I really want to even. He committed to it. It was the confidence. That it was so it. confident. The Doctor Strange background really helped sell the joke. Right. <laughs> you look like the coolest fisherman ever. For real. <laughs> he, like, he about to kill the fish. He be like, never mind, fish. He don't know. <laughs> <Go ahead, man." laughs> I don't even fish with a pole. I just go to the water. Like, get in. <laughs> you be playing. You be playing music on the flute, and the fish be like, "Man, what is that? That's a, a sweet tune, man." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so morning sex to night sex. Uh, <laughs> let's tear off into this thing. <laughs> I don't even know how this is a question. Morning sex, why, why would you do it? You got morning breath. It's You just woke up. You, you ain't take a shower. You ain't touch no water. You just want to turn around and roll into some box. You, said, you can always do, go brush your teeth. I, I very much would like to roll over and turn nah. into some box. Morning sex. Part of waking up. Nah, cause booty in your cup. I feel like I feel like if you having good sex, you should be tired afterwards. So if you have sex in the morning and then you get tired before you start your day, that's counterproductive. It's called you a gotta, weekend, my boy. That's nah. what Saturdays are made for. Nah, weekend sex is is whack. You have what? morning sex, you go that that whole day, you go about your business with a little more pep in your step. You just like man, you relax. Have me work. I, I've never. <laughs> You know I that never, you know Mickey Mouse be on the tugboat, <laughs> whistling and stuff. Everything's bouncing. The, Everything. the sun is like winking at you, like. <laughs> no, but you know what's crazy? For some reason, whenever you have sex and you just boom, it's, it's it's done. You don't think like, okay, now it's time to get up and start my day and go to work. Like, nah, you just like, let me go to bed. Let me chill out now. Let me. See, that's how I know you didn't go to college. Because sometimes you, yes, you smash in the morning. I go right to three classes right afterwards. Absolutely. Well, you never had like sex in the middle of the day. I, I mean, I've had sex in, in any pot, part of the day. I just don't enjoy it in the morning because I just feel like it's a nighttime activity. I don't really like doing it. She can see your whole body with the lights. <laughs> Sunrise is like, oh, my God. <laughs> she laying there like this. Please hurry up. <laughs> I told you I didn't want to do this when the sun was out. Yeah, and when she... And when she <laughs> And when a girl sees you naked, she just be like, oh, there's so many freckles just there. Nah, just, oh, my God. Oh, right. oh, my God. Don't worry. All right. You are worse than me. <laughs> your, your whole joke was there are so many freckles. That was all you I didn't have. I just wanted it to oh. stop. <laughs> you have no confidence. You're like, oh, there's so many freckles. Yeah, there's a... Oh, oh, I here. I look great. <laughs> nah, but morning sex is trash. There's nothing good about it. You're out of your mind. There's nothing good about it. The sex I'm itself good. is sex, good. Sex is good at any time. First of all, this is a preference. Not one is good, one is bad. Right, this right. Which one is better. Right. You're not turning down morning sex, afternoon, night, evening, mid-break. You're, you're well, t- it's all great, but I feel like in comparison to each other. OK, here, let me just say. There is a. Oh, go ahead, though. Let me just say how I feel. I'll just, I'll just say it out. because You weren't I, doing I that before? I can't, I can't no, tip you toe around this thing. As, okay, like when you're a dude, right, and then you have sex, and then you arrive and you finish, that takes a lot out of you. you, doesn't oh, yeah. make you it doesn't make you want to be like, oh, let me get up. Let me go start my day. No, I like now I want to chill the fuck out. Like, so why would I want to start my day wanting to chill? I want to wake up and be ready for the day. Not. Uh, I, will, I will agree with you, though. Sex takes energy out of me. Yes. Absolutely. Like, I, I don't get any. Like, 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 oh, my God, man. You want oh, to man. I'll be like, 
right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Turn, 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 turn the lights Listen. off. Turn the TV down. Kev, Tony, y'all, I mean, uh, Kev Ado, y'all never went on vacation without the kids. And you and your lady was like, oh, we finna, we finna get it. Oh, in. absolutely. We're we gonna do this all day. We ain't leaving this room. Out. You ain't never did that. And just you're, you're making, you're making, my, but you're making my point uh, for you me. You guys have to you're, vacation uh, to do that? Yeah. Uh, it, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're, you're, you're making my point for my me. My kids been home a lot lately. They don't go nowhere now. <laughs> but That's to a hear, random Saturday. You're making my point for me, though. Man, because. That, what is that like, Pat? What is that like? You don't have to. You don't have to be quiet or worry about it. There. Close no doors. You be having the door open, Pat. I mean, sometimes. Wait, but don't you live with your cousin? Yeah, but you know, we be home at different times. <laughs> oh man, I ain't. That ain't never been my testimony. I always well, be like. Well, the studio is just nobody, and it's soundproof. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, mixing, but here the computer is off. <laughs> <laughs> Now, to Doughboy's point, this is your best point, though. At night, when you finish and you're tired and you just go to sleep, that yeah. is the best. Mm -hmm. However, when you wake up and have sex, you don't have to worry, like, hey, am I going to have sex today? You already did. It's already been had. It's you a check. What happened to you today? You're like, man, you know what? If somebody ran up and socked you in the face, you'd be like, Psh. but at but least. That <laughs> That's the point I was going to say to, to, to hear his thing where I felt like he was making a point for me. He's saying like, yeah, do you have sex on vacation? Of course. But just like you said, that's vacation. That's once in a while. That's two weeks out of the year. Most people aren't vacationing every day of their life. So if, if I lived a vacation yeah. life, of course. But the fact that I'm trying to be productive every day that I work, I wake up, and my you life ain't is even good. doing nothing. You're making all these points and you wake up and do absolutely nothing every day. Like you really got something to be productive. I hey, I gotta eat. Now my cereal meeting is pushed back six minutes. <laughs> uh, listen. My <laughs> cereal I... meeting? <laughs> I'm like, you gotta get up and go into the factory and work for 12 hours. You're telling you me I gotta, I gotta, I gotta to do nothing. You're telling me I got a conference call with Captain Crunch? You motherfucker, <laughs> shut your ass up. <laughs> all the bad thoughts in a, in a circle. Here's my thing. Here's my thing with this. And Meg has been, uh, awkwardly quiet this whole time. No, I'm about there to say, I'm waiting for y'all to shut up so I can make my two cents, but go There ahead. are days, especially during this quarantine, where I have to rub one out just to be able to focus on what I need to get done. Because, like, the <laughs> second like, build up is like, I got to get this evil out of me so I can figure out... Whoa, why? Wait, 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 wait. Why do you call it evil out of you? It's evil? Yeah, because that should make you do shit you ain't supposed to do. You just, wait. Sorry. Sorry. Wait, wait, this wait, just wait, got wait. so weird. You, you got a little... Because really? a lot of what you do professionally is intertwined in us. So you mean to tell me that you rub one out before sending some emails to us? <laughs> You're like, I'm thinking with a clear he head. Can't even, he can't even spell your email. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't get, get that out, I, man. I, I am, my fingers all messed up. Yo, yo I got it. Podcast. <laughs> podcast editing to do. <laughs> yes. Yo, keyboard laughing, I'm, I'm dead ass serious. If Yo, I am keep, sexually frustrated, I got to get that out before I can get some work done because I'm not going to be able to focus. You'll be out there smashing the car gas tank. Like, yeah, <laughs> you're just like, yeah this is premium <laughs> unleaded. The unleaded bumps. These are uh, bump. bump three bumps. The 89 unleaded. <laughs> bump unleaded <three. laughs> bumps. The 249 a gallon bumps. <laughs> <laughs> The gas tank's in the like, what are you doing, is. sir? I got to get in there. I got to focus. I got a meeting right now. Hold on, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, where you take the car to go get fixed. Like, Tony's bus sound is, But wait, hold on. But there's a difference. Morning sex and night sex are two different types of sex. They don't look the same. Low key. You know what I'm saying? Usually morning is quicker. You just got to get it in and you go. Night takes a little bit longer. So it depends like what kind of day are you had or like what kind of time do you have? That's, That's a good point, true. Megan. I'm just, I'm hornier in the morning. Like I wake up, be like, man, who wants some of this? I'll be looking <laughs> around like, who, who wants some? Who wants some? Sabrina, Dapper, Midnight, I'll tell you. Whoever, whoever I grab first is getting some. <laughs> no, no, not bestiality. Whoever I grab. Whoever I grab. Oh, oh the you wallet. You want some of this wallet? The too? wallet? <laughs> oh, this gallon of water, huh? <laughs> you already <laughs> wet anyway. Yeah, you ready for me, you wet oh. water. Imagine but at night, at night, it just depends. <laughs> There'd be a lot going on. It'd be like, you know what? I'm going to just go to bed. 
Don't be staying up till five o'clock in the morning, too. I can't imagine you be like, you want to have sex now? I'm tired. <laughs> you wake up, you sleep. You, that's you a hilarious sleep. visual. Oh, yeah. That's, we, the morning <laughs> sex is when you knock on the door with your meat. You're like, hey. Why are you up till uh -huh. five in the morning right now? Like, are you playing, I'm playing video games? games with this. And doing movie, movie views. And, and no, like, that's, that's, like, that's like in the evening. That's in the evening to hit 6 p.m. Pacific. You out here playing Fortnite with the 14 year old. Why I'm playing Call of Duty, man. It's Call of Duty. Don't act like you know about video games. <laughs> you been playing Fortnite with the kid. <laughs> you have been playing Fortnite with the little kid. That's what it looks like. Meg, the moment you have a child, your your mom gene automatically make you mess up video game titles. <laughs> no, I meant to say that. No, no, but you're going to be messing it up. My wife be like, y'all in there watching the Guardians of the Pirates? Like, what? Pirates <laughs> of the Galaxy. What, what movie are you? Guardians of the Pirates? You're, my, Melissa said Pirates of the Galaxy when we had just left Guardians of the Galaxy. Did y'all enjoy Pirates of the Galaxy? <laughs> you are 36. Why are you? I mean, you know, I have two kids. I be messing up titles. Meg, the older Mac gets, the more, the more you're going to mess titles up. He ain't going to play no fun games. That is a ten part two. You're gonna be playing Super Biblical Brothers. <laughs> Super Biblical Brothers? Wait, do they really make that? Because he would play that. Oh yeah, you wanted to Amazon it right now. Absolutely. Super <laughs> Biblical <laughs> Brothers. Biblical Brothers. What kind of Christian video games do they have? They don't have none. That's I Super bet Biblical you Brothers would be hilarious. I bet you I find one. Poor Mav. He Don't do that to him, man. He's going to wild out. He's going to go to HBCU and, and, and start a revolution. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what? 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 Okay. All right, so uh, what are we going with? I'm going to go with morning sex. I'm going right. to go with night sex. And, be, and even though morning sex, you wake up with the morning wood, it's a whole thing, I get it. But night sex is better for your life. But you're probably heavier at night because you got a whole day's worth of wings and stuff. <laughs> He probably prefers the morning. Everybody's lighter in the morning. Hey, there's one. There's one con with night sex. Have y'all ever had like a like a falling asleep right before sex story? No, no, never. You right fell asleep before? before you got some. No, what you do? Why you would you do that? Never fallen asleep right before sex? No. Oh, you. Wait, what was yeah. the scenario? Like you yeah. called a girl, like. Hey, well, like yeah, yeah, you ran into this and then you just asleep. passed out. Yeah. That's happened so many times with me. Yeah. Wait, why, is that, so why is that a story then? Wait, are you falling asleep before she gets there? Ooh, that's happened too. Eesh. So <laughs> Pat, <laughs> Pat, the door, just knocking at Pat the door, door like, Pat, about, let me in. Pat, you're not talking about falling asleep. You're talking about passing out. You're talking about from a drunk state? Drunk, drugs, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things can make you pass why out. Why are you saying you know? so casually like that? Drunk, drugs, I'm that's all I'm saying. Wait, Pat. I Question: Has any girl ever been like, I'm gonna like key your car or do some like crazy stuff to you? Oh, you, Pat, you look at him. You think he ain't had violence done to him or his property? He yeah, absolutely most, had violence what's done. The most, what's the most violent thing that has happened to you as a result of like a woman? To me or my car? Either, like to any, you or your property, whatever. Okay, shit. All There's right. a lot of stories like that? Dang. I know a couple of stories. I'm just going to see which one he's going to pick. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to this uh, Jamaican girl. Mm -hmm. oh. And uh, I, I pissed her off somehow. I was messed up. This is actually two in one because I passed out today. That, in that story, I passed out and I woke up in a just a crater of destruction. All my shit was just, my TV was top, toppled over. My mirror was broken. Two mirrors were broken. There was a hole in the wall. There was all types of stuff. And I paid for the Uber home. She took my phone and Ubered herself home. She just, oh. just she, she went a hole. <laughs> and he Wait, woke up in a trailer. Was, you didn't know she was wrecking all your stuff while she was doing it? I think, I think so. Because I was awake for most of it. And I, and I, but I was just so messed up. And then when she left, I guess I just passed out drunk in the middle of the wreckage. And then I woke up and I was just like, what the hell happened? Did what? I do that? <laughs> I had to, I had to what'd you do to deserve this? Huh? What'd I do? Yeah. I didn't do anything really. Like this No, was... don't lie, Pat. You know what? Hey. I'm gonna tell you the type of dude that Pat is. Pat is like really cool, really chill. But Pat also does not set the right expectations. Guaranteed, you told that girl something and you didn't follow through with it because you're Mr. Cool and Mr. Chill and she was the wrong one. 
This was our first time hanging out. <laughs> what? <laughs> what could you do in one interaction that causes utter destruction? I'm telling you, you the world. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm just kidding. It was just like a, a big break, and then we hung out again, and she just did it like what she, what she saw on my phone and destroyed everything. Uh, oh, man. Uh, yeah. like we weren't even a thing. We weren't even a thing. That, I bet you that, that that statement you just made, we weren't even a thing, I bet you that's what be causing the destruction. That's it was our first time hanging out. You have to be real and honest about stuff that's going on. You cannot set wrong expectations for chicks. That's why they gonna do that. Like, like, we weren't even a thing. She like, to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all in. What's the versus subject? What were we talking about? Pat versus domestic violence. <laughs> How has handled you? I'm, I'm taking night sex all day, every day. You take whatever sex you can get. Y'all really ain't never passed out before the booty? Yeah. Uh, uh. No, when, I, when I used to drink, I did, but not since I got. <laughs> you have to do a bump of Coke just to make sure. <laughs> Where you at with it, Ken? Uh, morning. Meg? Overnight, wow. Yeah, morning is a, it's like, man, you know what? That's a, just a great day to start the day. Take me a shower, have great me- Great day to start the day? Man, shut up, Tom! Find his ass. Business. <laughs> Find the business that pays you. What, this is uh, the business okay, that pays you? You look like you have some destructive morning breath. Ugh, God Ooh. bless Melissa, you! Why I look like I have destructive morning breath? You, I don't know, but you all are- that, All that juice from the night Look before. at my teeth, they're, they're white and straight. Mm -hmm. What about me says my breast stink? You sat next to me for a long time. Your breath did stink a few times. I don't You're know. lying. I swear to you. I don't, it was coming, it was like wafting across the desk. Kev, Kev fall asleep eating, so I can only imagine what his morning breath is. <laughs> I, listen, I'm, I'm Breath McGee. I have never smelled Kev or Tahir or Pat's slipping, ever. Do you call me slipping so? You, man. I caught you slipping one time, though. Who Everybody me? else, I never caught. Who? Thank you, Tony. And he's a I, breath. No, you too. I never caught you either, man. Oh, okay. I hate having bad breath. The only time I have bad breath is when I have cotton mouth, and that and that sometimes just happens. That's like every day, Pat. You smoke every day. You got cotton mouth every day. Right, but me not being prepared for cotton mouth be happening sometimes. Smoke weed every day, Pat. It's four twenty. Are you smoking some weeds? I was I was keeping it light so I could shoot. I don't like I don't like smoking before shoots. Me neither, bro. It'd be messing up my my. Ability. Oh lord, shut up! You guys have like I've never smoked ganja. Oh, you haven't. I be on that gas. No, you don't. Wow. Smoke nothing but like <laughs> offerings up to the Lord. Shut up. Indica, sativa. I have all the phrases. I don't know what it means, but I've heard them. <laughs> Don, where you at with it? Morning. Morning. Meg, you said night. I said night. Okay. And what about you, Pat? Um, definitely, damn. I would say night, because morning sex be making me late. Okay. You got to wash up. Hello, I'm going to go night, too, so okay. the nights have it. You say you got to oh, wash no, up. No, no, trash, man. <laughs> Pat, you don't be feeling bad watching up in this thing like, I'm better than this, man. <laughs> I know. Every time that happens, I, I feel that way. But I usually shower. Oh, yeah. Well, wine, wine, oh, wine. Wine. You can't have <laughs> wine showers in the morning, <laughs> Pat. The desk. No, I don't do that in the morning. I've done that in the morning since the quarantine. I've done that like twice in the morning. Wine showers in the morning? You're, out, you're all over the place, Pat. Yeah, it wasn't a good idea. I threw up. <laughs> wine drunk is terrible, boy. Let me tell you. Wait, were you already drunk when you decided to drink in the shower in the morning? No, it was just like it wasn't like it was like a like a, a sugary, fruity wine. So I was like, oh, like it was like a mimosa. Dessert wine. Those will mess you up every time. Yeah, yeah. Love wine. <laughs> I've been drunk, bro. I, I've been on yeah, here. Little virgin margarita. Shut heroin. Up. Heroin, bro. <laughs> Tie me off. Yo, Kev was drinking on tour, man. They was they was lit. <laughs> what does Kev like when he's drunk? I forgot. Funny. Man. Hilarious. I feel like you order Incredible Hulk or something like that. Give nah, me man. To hear, to, hear, uh, to hear have me on a French connection one day. I almost missed my connection. Yeah, you was on a French dip connection. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm going to tell you, though. How many clubs, they can create alcoholics. They be doggone forcing drinks on you. I'll be like, bro, I don't. I don't drink ever when I'm about to perform, 
and they be like, you want a drink? You want a drink? We get two drinks. We have a drink. We'll have a drink for you. We're leaving. I'm like, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't. And then when I get off stage, they're like, we can have a drink for you now. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm tired now. Bro, be, I, I think these comedians be drunk McGee. Oh, they be obliterated. I had never. I could never do it. I can't. Perf- I need to be clarity of focus. But if you don't, if you don't need it, bro, they give you strong, a lot of drinks. I yeah. never started. I started drinking once I started doing comedy. That's when I started. That's what, like my introduction. Yeah, the club. Because we used to do the last two years. We did the churches and stuff, so it wasn't a big deal. But this year before Corona, me and Terry was in them clubs. Whew! I'm like, bro, no. I'll get these <laughs> drinks, Cam. And then if you have a good set, they're like, man, you had a great set. You want to drink it? Like, ah! <laughs> Why don't you just be like, yes, give me a Sprite? Nah, man, I don't even want to drink a whole bunch of soda. Now, if you have chicken tenders, that's what I will bring. Bring the nachos over. You want to keep asking stuff. Hey, Kev, have you ever had a meal drunk? A meal? Like, eat? did you ever, like, eat, like, a, like a drunk meal? I've never been. I've never been. I have very few I'm super drunk stories ever. And you didn't eat? Mm-mm. You I don't eat. really have, I'm a big boy. I don't, I, don't be, I don't be being drunk a lot. I don't like to be, I don't like to be out of control of my elements. I don't know what I'm capable of. <laughs> I, might, I might push a baby down the hill or something. I don't know what I'm capable of. I'm crazy when I'm sober. I can't be drunk out here in these streets. <laughs> All right, Tia. Well, that's been another episode of Versus Squadcast. Appreciate everybody for logging hey, in. Hey, I've been making a lot of avocado toast recently. Oh, shit, here we go. <laughs> Okay, what? That was pretty good, Pat. That probably was your best one. Oh, really? I that was your most like because you connected one. it to you. I didn't believe yeah, it. that's. And I was really like, really? How how has it been? And that's yeah. what Doughboy does. He does it masterfully. Yes. Doughboy, you be eating those wings quietly, like we can't see you though. We see <laughs> the. <wings. laughs> like, I don't hear you, but it's obvious you are biting chicken. I had to eat. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll, usually, I don't eat on camera, but I was starving. I'm sorry. Usually I don't eat on camera. <laughs> Shut up. No <laughs> boy's porn is just him eating with porn music. <laughs> <laughs> and the camera be zooming in, he be dipping it in the <laughs> Where's the set? Oh, this is this uh, 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 porn? <laughs> nugget porn. <laughs> Y'all continue to send the uh suggestions to my inbox on Instagram and we'll see you next time. Here's a suggestion. Get a trainer. <laughs> <laughs> Stat. <laughs>